right, we're recording. I'm here with special guest Bart Zantra, a.k.a. you. And this is how you change the slugs on each page, and this is how you uh, change the title tags and meta descriptions for each page. So you create this new page, and you want the slugs to match uh, a searcher's intent, what a searcher would type into Google if they were searching for that particular item. So for this page, uh, Paul Macbeth ESP buzzes. Um, this one's good, but we can make it a little better. Um, notice here that you want to put the dashes in between each word. Just uh, normal protocols for uh, slugs. Uh, so Paul Macbeth, ESP buzzes, ESP buzz. Um, Craft this spell. Yes. Actually, make it super specific if you can, and then you press OK, and now that's changed. Um, now we're going to edit your uh, title tags and meta descriptions. Your title tags are what shows up when you do a Google search. So you see right here, these are your title. This is your title tag right here. And then this is your meta description. Uh, title tag targets keywords, but it also uh, you're also targeting users uh, to try to improve your click-through rate. This guy right here, Discraft ESP Buzz 14.99, does a really good job at it by letting you know the price of the disc. Um, meta description is just a uh, mostly a call to action that doesn't have any impact on search engine optimization, but it shows you. But it can also uh, it can help with your uh, click-through rate. So, for this page, again, same thing in mind. We have to keep searchers' intent at the top of our priority list. So, Paul, Paul Macbeth, ESP, buzzes for sale. Now you can do separations with uh, the pipe or a dash. I prefer the pipe personally. Paul McBeth, the SP. This craft. Now this is supposed to be anywhere from 55 to 70 characters and this green line will let you know if you've exceeded it. If you exceed it, no big deal. Just some of it will be cut off. Um, but obviously you don't want to make it too long. Um, check out the latest. For sale at this disc golf bar. Correction at the disc golf bar. I'm already. And that's pretty much it. You do that for every page whenever you create a new page. And you gotta make sure you press update or none of your changes will be saved.